What's happening everyone? How you all doing this evening? First of all, I'd like to welcome you guys to the 16th episode of DJ Talk. Now before we get started, I would like to start out by saying thanks to Jehovah the one and only for the oppor- for this opportunity to give me this platform and throughout this year. This year was a roller coaster ride and it was a rough year. But still, it was also a blessed year. For DJ Talk this year, it will go down as a great start from the summer to here. 2022 was filled with great lessons. And now the new year, 2023, will be an extraordinary year filled with surprises and most Importantly, great episodes will be coming along. So make sure you keep you guys keep tuning in. Now, if you guys haven't heard the last episode, it was a game changing moment. So make sure you guys go check that out. Just like I said always, and I will keep saying it again and again, without any further ado. Let's get right to it. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to get your groove back. For some of you don't know this, but you may you guys may have a question like, what does it mean to get your groove back? And you know what? That is a great question. And that is what we are going to be analyzing together. So back to the question. What does it mean to get your groove back? It means to let loose and enjoy yourself dancing. That could be true, but it can also mean something else. And it also means returning to feeling well, being active, and excelling at the things you were good at you were good at once. Again. That's very interesting. There are multiple steps of how to get your groove back. And we're going to start off with the first one. Unlock your logic and start listening to your quiet voice. Usually it's a faint whisper, not a godlike thundering voice, which leads you to strength and purpose. Of course, this takes time. We don't need, we don't trust this voice. We haven't heard in a very long time. And that's one reason, that's one of the reasons why we punch clocks instead of the sky. We lost trust in ourselves and the result of that is life stutter if you don't start listening to your quiet voice you'll always be a clark kent who can't find a payphone number two lean into what terrifies you if you weren't afraid you wouldn't be alive but what terrifies you is what's keeping you from living For many, it's failure. Acknowledge it, accept it, push through it, and you'll realize it doesn't exist. It's just a projected shadow. It's like that thundering voice mentioned above. Fear can protect you, but being terrified will paralyze you. 
You can't feel invisible and terrified at the same time. You must pick one. The choice is yours. Number three, redefine what matters. Write down what really matters in your life. Many of us hold on to things that once mattered, but don't anymore. And without realizing it, because we haven't done a self-inventory in so long. Take out a sheet of paper and start taking notes. What truly matters to you today? Not yesterday or tomorrow. Today. This minute. What really matters to you? If your page is blank, there's nothing to fight for. Number four, instead of thinking about how you want to perceive, to be perceived, think about how you want to be remembered. Most of us can't find our cape because we've exchanged our truth for membership. Somewhere along our journey, we started to care more about what others think than showing the world who we are and what gifts we have to share. If you're starting, if you're always starting from how you want to be perceived, you'll always feel like your lights have been dimmed. Starting from how you want to be remembered will make you invisible. Number five, make sense of your story. Many look for answers everywhere else except their own story. Excuse me. Our story is mo- is the most powerful thing we have. It's what makes us unique, potent, and strong. If we deny it, we become sheep. If you pull back and review your story, you'll see what the universe has in store for you. If you don't see it, you haven't accepted your story. Completely accepting your story, every part of it, and making sense of it is what will help you stand tall. Number six, you are not a victim. The world can be extremely overwhelming and exhausting. I know you have every right to make excuses. Believe me, I know. But at the end of the day, you'll your excuses are holding you back. We all have issues. We all have situations that have broken us. Oh, sorry about that. Excuse the background. That have given us every right and reason to make excuses for why we can't do this or that. But all that matters at the end is that these excuses are keeping us from falling back in love with our lives. Number seven, change something. There is only one risk you shouldn't take, and that's the risk of doing nothing. You can't start getting your groove back with one foot on the brakes. So, if you want to do something, take a risk. In the words of Joanne von Guten, be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. If you want, if you stop being afraid to fail, you will be unconquerable. Number eight, 
Don't romanticize past relationships. They ended for a reason. When a relationship ends with the person we loved, we often romanticize it, especially when that person finds someone new. But you can't move on with your life if you're ideally idealizing a person who was not meant for you and who is actually not in your life for a good reason. Let them go. Repeat that. I'm going to repeat that again. Let them go. Number nine, don't engage with stupid people. And I say that respectfully. You know, about bad people and all that. But you know what I mean. As Mark Twain said, never argue with stupid people. They will drag you down to their level and then beat you with experience. We waste so much of our precious time and energy interacting with people who don't deserve it. At the end, they will never understand your point, and you will be left twice as frustrated. Number 10, fall back in love with yourself. There is more extraordinary love out there that you would never know if it didn't end did with the last one. But the extraordinary has to start with you. Fall back in love with yourself. And let everyone, everybody else come searching for you. Number 11, forgive. Understand that people can only treat you as good as they treat themselves. Someone can be madly in love with you and still not be ready. Forgive them. Someone's past their demons. Whatever the reason is. Some people are not ready for love and happiness and will push you away. People have to do the work to be ready. You cannot convince or inspire anyone to do this work. You are only responsible for yourself. Number 12, let go of the way that things are supposed to be. It's okay if you're not married, have kids, nor have a dream job, nor finish college, or even content for that matter. You are on your own unique path. You can't, you simply can't compare it to anyone else's. Find your own way. You are governed by what's inside you. Not by where anyone else is, says you should be. Number 13, get fit to challenge your fears and insecurities. Our minds and bodies are linked. It's not about doing the most I'm out of crunches or push-ups, running the fastest or the longest. No, it's about realizing that you can do anything you set your mind to. Number 14, do not take things so personally. People's tardiness. People's tardiness almost always much more about them than it is about you. Remember that. Number 15. Love people from afar. An important step in getting your groove back is realizing who and what is not good for you. When someone touches your heart... They will 
infinitely be there. But when your mood became entirely dependent on them, it becomes a toxic relationship and you lose the love for yourself. Don't be frustrated if you still love them. Be sure to love them from afar. Number 16, break the pattern of fighting the old. We often want to understand people's motives, why the person did what they did. Let it go because you can spend years analyzing and still never know often people themselves don't even know why they did it. Why why they did it is not important. What's important is the right now, the new. Trying to fight the old is a battle you will never win because you're wasting all your energy that you can be using to build the new, to innovate the life you actually want to live. Number 17, you are not a doormat. Don't misconceive being killed or low maintenance for being a pushover. Set set boundaries with people. When know when to say no. Never ever bend over backwards to people to please other people who wouldn't do the same for you. Number eighteen. Make a habit to quickly bounce back from problems. Have a solution. Look at situations you would have done differently as a lesson in how to do better for yourself in the future. Don't waste time. Don't waste your time regretting. Make mis- mistakes are inevitable in a life worth living. Number 19. Don't feel bad for being unsure about everything. Constantly wondering and questioning is a sign of intelligence. Have you ever noticed, have you noticed how it's always the idiots, respectfully I say that because there's a lot of bad people out there, but you get the story, that are so unsure about every darn thing that they're doing. In their lives. Number 20. Enjoy the ride. You can let yourself be a little bit lost. Because being uncontent forces you to think and realize everything that is holding you back. From creating a life that you want to live. Feeling uncontent with yourself. Or your life keeps you hungry and it keeps you moving forward. Enjoy the ride. Life is all about experience. Number 21, don't settle. Let go of people who don't appreciate you or don't excite you. You are doing too darn fine for that. It's not enough if someone is with you. They have to inspire you. Make an effort for you. If they have one foot out the door and unable to see what is right in front of them. And if they think easy, easiness is good that there's something better. That the more chances they have, the better let them go. Because only an extraordinary person can appreciate and choose the extraordinary. Make room for that person. Number 22, be happy being alone. Your happiness cannot depend on another person. If you're... If you aren't truly happy for yourself, you will let toxic people in your life and abandon yourself in the effort to keep the relationship. 
And that's usually when we start to fall out of love with ourselves. When this happens, we hand over our whole self-worth and significance to other person. And before we know it, our mood and happiness becomes entirely dependent on them. Be happy alone. Fall in love with yourself. And then you don't need anyone to validate your greatness. Number 23, you walk on water. Number 20. You don't need to I'm sorry. You don't need to show or prove anything to anyone. You can't never ever make everyone happy. Haters will see you walk on water. It's because and say it's cuz you can't swim. Live your life for you. Number 24, understand what it is that you do not want. Start from there. The first step is getting your groove back, is understanding what you are and are not willing to compromise on. Never abandon yourself in the effort to keep someone or something. Number 25, pain can be a positive thing. There will be a moment that will always be part, a part of you because it shaped and taught you much more than a happily ever after ever could. Pain is meant to wake you up. It can help you understand what is no longer serving you. Number 26, but refuse to entertain your old pain. Understand that sometimes we don't want to let go of our pain because it's the only thing still attaching us to our ex or to a certain moment. Let go of your pain and let go and you let go completely. Sometimes we're not ready for that. But the energy it takes to hang on to the hurt from the past is holding you back from living your life fully. When your heart is broken open, new light gets in. Embrace it. Number 27, maybe you feel broken. Maybe you didn't get your perfect ending. But some of the best stories don't have a clear beginning, middle, and end. Life is about making the best of each moment. Because we really don't know what will happen next. Maybe you didn't get a perfect ending. But you will get... something so much better beautiful people do not just happen life is all about experience trust me on that and last but not least number 28 it take it will take effort getting your groove back will require both time and effort it's what you do with your time that really matters make an effort to focus on falling back in love with yourself focus on the fact that you are here alive breathing healing with that piercing feeling in your soul telling you that there is much more inside of you than what you're currently offering the world and i'm telling you that feeling is rare. You are exactly where you need to be right now. So you see, when it comes down to getting back what you lost, 
you got to look at it as a blessing in disguise and also the best to come. There is an old, there is a famous quote that talks about getting your groove back and it says, never forget how far you've come. Everything you have gotten through, all the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't. All the mornings you got out of bed, no matter how hard it was. All the times you wanted to give up, but you got through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed. Wow, pretty amazing to hear. The key word, push. You know, in this lifetime, we all have to push ourselves to the limit and learn how to go through trials and tribulations to get where we need to get. Just like the old saying goes, survival of the fittest. In these times, like this, we need to turn on the survival mode and start making things happen. There's a verse that talks about how to get your groove back. And it says, instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. Instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so you will inherit, inherit a double portion in your land. And everlasting joy will be yours. Very beautiful verse right there. And it speaks nothing but facts, as always. So, if we can follow this instruction, we will most definitely get our groove back. So, to end this episode, I would love to leave you guys with this advice right here. Whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not lose your momentum. Keep doing what you're doing and never lose your groove. So, I want to thank you guys for supporting DJ Talk throughout this year. And I will guarantee you that 2023 will be an extraordinary year and it will be the best year. And every episode is going to be fantastic and uplifting as well. So thank you guys. And just like I always say, stay tuned for the next episode of DJ Talk. And to everyone from DJ Talk, Happy New Year. Peace out. And good night, everybody. Ah!